I gotta get off this train. Despite having numerous tales, Bullet Train brings them all together. By the time the movie ends, even the most enigmatic aspects and subplots have been clarified. After the movie ends, there are lots of things to ponder and investigate. This comprehensive explanation of Bullet Train's climax explains the relevance of Thomas the Tank Engine as well as why Carver killed White Death's wife in the first place. Bullet Train ending explained, before we start major spoilers alert. Why Carver killed White Death's wife, instead of him, the conclusion of Bullet Train showed that Carver, an assassin and Ladybug's associate, was accountable for the death of the White Death's wife in a deadly automobile accident that was previously believed to be an accident. This incensed the White Death, who made tremendous efforts to identify the killer of his wife and devise a plan to eliminate everyone who was even remotely associated with it, directly or otherwise. Carver probably intended to kill White Death that fateful day, but events prevented that from happening. It wouldn't have been necessary for the White Death to clean up Lemon and Tangerine's mess if they hadn't botched the job in Bolivia. Which is why he was not the one in the car with his wife that day. It makes no sense if Carver was after the White Death's wife all along. After all, there would be no point in killing her if it meant angering the White Death, who was already considered a danger. And so Carver's mission was probably set up to take out the White Death all along, and the change of plans led to her being collateral. After the death of his wife, it likely became harder to track and find the mob boss, because he knew there was now a hit on him. Did Carver know Ladybug's bullet train mission was a setup? Maybe there was a little head trauma? Maybe. Carver was noticeably absent throughout Bullet Train, despite the fact that his actions led to the White Death's revenge plot. Ladybug mentions Carver had a stomach thing and couldn't take the job to retrieve the briefcase, leading Maria to assign Ladybug the task in his place. However, it's possible Carver realized something was amiss and feigned being sick, so he wouldn't have to take the job at all, leading Ladybug to cover for him. While it's unclear what kind of personality Carver has, or whether he'd be fine with throwing his own colleague under the bus, it's possible Carver knew that, if Ladybug didn't take his place on the bullet train, the White Death would never stop coming after him. This is something that isn't explicitly stated or acknowledged in the film, but it's not unfathomable to think Carver would try and save himself if he figured out the plan. I'm up with a plan. I'm gonna hurt people. How the Prince Ruined the White Death's Bullet Train Plans, the Prince is unexpectedly discovered to be the White Death's daughter. Like her father, she desired her own particular brand of vengeance, but she did so because of her father's neglect and a sense of being unappreciated and unimportant. The White Death claims in Bullet Train that the Prince was never intended to be a part of his plan, which is why her involvement destroyed his. The White Death might have been successful in his quest if the Prince wasn't aboard the Bullet Train and hadn't pushed Yushi's son off the roof. But the prince threw a spanner in the works, bringing the two people, Yushi and his father, who wanted revenge on the White Death into the fold, complicating matters. What's more, the prince's theft of the briefcase, paired with her own plot to kill the White Death by planting explosives in the suitcase and her gun, was what led to his unexpected demise. Had the prince not been on the bullet train at all, the White Death might have stood a chance at accomplishing his goal. A bullet train sequel could focus on Ladybug's dynamic with Carver, perhaps seeing them on a mission together. There's also a lot audiences still don't know about Ladybug, and an action sequel could explore more of his character, as well as who he works for and with. What's more, Bullet Train sets up a spin-off that could focus on Lemon and Tangerine, arguably the most dynamic characters in the film. Considering Tangerine was killed off, the spin-off could be a prequel to the events of Bullet Train. The brothers share a history and their banter alone could carry an entire film, all while the story delves further into their lives and adventures.